In 1866, when the massacre took place, Ulysses S. Grant was the general in chief of the U.S. Army, which was criticized for its slow response to the terrible events in Memphis. In 1868, Grant was elected president with the slogan, let us have peace. But across the South, white resistance to black citizenship during Reconstruction had often turned violent, and whites organized into vigilante groups, including the Ku Klux Klan. Horrified by the Klan's vicious terrorism, in 1870, Grant pushed Congress to pass the Enforcement Acts, federal laws that included giving the president the power to send troops to the South to protect African Americans' rights. Under these new laws, the federal government prosecuted Klansmen and convicted more than 600. Briefly, it seemed that peace might be on its way, but armed vigilantes continued to inflict violence on black people. And in the 1870s, Republican officials increasingly worried that keeping troops on the ground in the South was politically unpopular. The Democrats had never supported Reconstruction in the first place. The withdrawal of federal forces enabled white Southerners to terrorize their black neighbors without having to face justice. For decades to come, during the era known as Jim Crow, black Southerners lived under threat of severe violence. It is estimated that white Americans lynched about 3,500 people, mostly black, between 1880 and the 1950s. <laughs>